which one do you want to focus on? It can be with regard to geography. You might be the expert in that particular little town. That is a niche. A geography is a niche. Originating from deep inside the Rocky Mountains, transported through the power of the internet, and arriving inside your tiny earbuds. It's the Appraiser Coach Podcast. Minisode. 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 Hey, beautiful people. Dustin Harris hanging out in the podcast chair. We're talking today about niches. Niches. However you want to say. Tomato, tomato. Uh, what is a niche? Why should you want one? Well, we're going to get into it. First, I want to pause and remind you that we're sponsored by a great company called uh, Synapse. Synapse allows you to be able to support your adjustments, folks. How would that be? When someone asks you, where did you get that adjustment? How would you like to have an answer for that? Well, you should. And Synapse will help you with that. Check them out by going to sparkforappraisers.com. Again, sparkforappraisers.com. Um, all right, folks, we're going to talk a little bit about niches today. Right now, uh, as of today, actually today, I did the first recording of our workshop on how to do more private work, how to switch from doing AMC work, regular lender work to non-lender work with attorneys and real estate agents and homeowners and government and you name it. There's so, so, so many opportunities out there, folks. And uh, we record these in advance. So by the way, by the time this uh, posts, uh, our second of that series will have posted four full hours of workshop, hands-on workshop, folks, where you actually are given materials and and homework and action items and ideas and thoughts and, and feedback from many people who have uh, already been down this path. Um, that will be on my website, theappraisercoach.com. But one of the things that we talked about today was niches. What do I mean by that? Uh, sounds like something from Dr. Seuss. Uh, we're talking about uh, niches, meaning we are talking about uh, specialties. Okay, just just use that word, specialties. I want to take an opportunity to first share this in the terms of of an analogy. Okay, the analogy that I'm going to use is a doctor. Now, I have two doctor friends. They both live in my neighbor. Well, one just moved, but. Uh, the other one still lives in, in my neighborhood. And I have asked both of them this question in a roundabout way. Um, in other words, I didn't ask the exact same question to both of them, but we got on the conversation of specialties and both of them confirmed. And I don't think this is going to come as a shock or a surprise to anybody, right? That doctors make more money in the specialties, right? You can be a general practitioner and you can see all kinds of ailments, or you can be a podiatrist, right? Or you can be a, a, a an optometrist, or you can be, fill in the blank, right? A heart surgeon. The extra education, the special knowledge that you have and the abilities that you have that other doctors don't have allow you to be able to do more and better and better paying work. That's just a fact. Now, there might be specific situations where that's not the case, but I would say 99% of the time, that is the case. That specialties will allow you to be, quote unquote, more successful as a doctor. Well, folks, guess what? It is true as an appraiser as well. I know, shocker, right? What am I talking about when it comes to specialties? Well, I want to share with you a few niches that you might consider when we get back from the break. Some of them, by the way, you may not even have thought about. But first, I want to pause and remind you that we are talking today about Synapse. Synapse, of course, is the ability to be able to have support for your adjustments. That means when the underwriter comes back and says, Dustin, why did you use $67 a square foot and not 68 Huh? Answer that for me. Well, guess what, folks? I have an answer if I've used Synapse. Hey, Dustin, why did you use that adjustment for a garage instead of that adjustment for a garage? Well, guess what? That adjustment for a garage was made because Synapse showed me the way. Check them out by going to sparkforappraisers.com. Again, it's sparkforappraisers.com. All right, folks, welcome back to the mini-sode. 
Dustin Harris hanging out in the podcast chair. We had a great workshop this morning that, by the way, is available on my website, theappraisercoach.com. It's private work, folks, getting more private work, moving away from AMC work. Who doesn't want to do that, right? And we went into four hours of detail with supporting documentation and materials and worksheets and engagement letters and contracts and fee schedules and you name it, right? All of it's there, nothing held back. And we talk today about niches. We talk today about uh, specializing, right? And and one of the things we talked about is that specializing in appraiser in appraisals, just like specializing as a doctor, will allow you to do more work, right? Because because you have abilities that other appraisers don't, and usually higher paying work. I will tell you my niche. I didn't even actually even share this in the uh, in the workshop, but I'll share it here. My niche is luxury homes in the Jackson Hole area. So it's a it's a specific niche with regard to the type of home or to the, the type of, of, of appraisal. And it's also a specialty with regard to geography. Okay. So in other words, I, I am an expert. I will use that word. Okay. I'm an expert in luxury homes in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. It's not unusual for me to do a $30 million ranch in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. But I am not an expert in luxury homes in Sun Valley, which is a little further away and a little bit more specific market and what have you. I don't even appraise Sun Valley, right? So my niche is very specific to a geography and a type of appraisal. There are many niches out there, folks, and I would encourage you to look at them and decide which one works best for you. Which one do you want to focus on? It can be with regard to geography. You might be the expert in that particular little town. That is a niche. A geography is a niche. The type of property could be a niche as well. Again, I mentioned luxury homes. I know others that do luxury homes. Oddball homes. You could be the go-to expert on geodesic domes in your specific area. Okay? Or maybe it's not in your area. I once knew a guy that was a uh, that was an appraiser for haunted houses, and he did it all over the nation. Okay, I don't know if he was licensed in multiple states or if he worked with other appraisers with geographic competency when he was, you know, when he was in Illinois. Even though he might have been from Texas, I don't even know where he was from. I don't remember. Uh, and by the way, when I say I know him, I knew of him. I never actually spoke to him. I heard rumors of this guy. Okay, that did haunted places, haunted properties. That was his niche, that, that there was a specific, um, there was a specific uh, niche for haunted properties. Um, I've done celebrity homes. Is that a niche? I don't know. I did, I did studies to find out when I, when I did the next door neighbor to Harrison Ford um, and, and, and tried to make a determination on whether being next door to a celebrity was a benefit or a, um, or a drawback. Uh, and I figured out that answer. Right. So does that make me a specialist in that particular area? Maybe. But there's other more common niches like uh, working with realtors, right? Working with attorneys. Maybe you're the specific specialist for IRS contributions. Okay. And and and, and the list goes on and on and on. The point is, folks, as you find opportunity, and it could be something as simple as adding manufactured homes to your portfolio, right? Maybe you didn't do them before. Now you do them now. You've educated yourself. Relocation appraisals. Maybe it's the type of appraisal. You might have a niche with relocation appraisals, or maybe you're a niche reviewer, right? That's that's your focus. You review appraisal work rather than do appraisal work. But folks, as you as you look for opportunity to grow your business, pay attention to this little thing we call the niche or niches, the specialties, which may indeed allow you to be more successful. Thank you for joining me today, folks. It's always a pleasure and an honor. Dustin Harris, signing off. You've been listening to the Appraiser Coach Podcast with Dustin Harris. If you like what you hear, please give us a five-star rating and post a short review on iTunes. For more in-depth insider information on how you can make more money as a real estate appraiser, visit theappraisercoach.com and sign up for the all-star team today. Thanks for joining us. And now, get out there and create some value.